Hi, this is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I am going to answer a quick question that someone who watches this channel, her name is Peggy, asked me an email, and it's just one of those things, and I'll just make a quick video about it so that I can help other people as best as I can. So what she has asked is she has a project, not this one, but what she wants to do is remove the material away from the outer boundaries of the of the 3D model that she is cutting. So I'll show you how I'll set this up. And if you have another alternative, let me know. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is when we're in the drawing 3D modeling area, we're going to go over to modeling and we're going to select our 3D model or 3D models, you can do it with more than one. And we will select the icon that says create vector boundary around selected components. Select that, and what that has done is that has created a boundary around the fish. And if I just click off, and let's see, so you can see, I just want you to see the boundary that's been created. I'm going to click the fish and then I just move it up a couple times and you can see. So control Z, control Z, and we are back in action. Okay, so Vectric has done its best to create a boundary around this fish. I can tell you right now the boundary is not adequate enough, but we will fix that later. So this is all we need right now. And we are going to switch over to our toolpath area. Now, before we get into that, we're selecting the fish so we can get our little blue button here to see what we have. Uh, one of the things is we want this fish to be the full depth of the board. So the material we're using is three quarters of an inch thick. And the fish is almost as thick as the board. So one of the things you can do, I think I've already set this up, is typically when you click the little blue button, you're going to get this little menu here. And you're going to have a number range for your base height that you can set up. So it'll be, the middle will be like the nominal number, and then it'll go perhaps minus, in this case, 0.375, and then positive 0.375. And then our shape height, which is 6, 0.65, a little shy of 0.75. We can make it thicker, but as you can see in this image, the deep blue part of the fish means that that is, or deep red, where did I get blue from? That fish is actually sticking out on top of the project. It's not going to cut it. So we need to start shoving that fish down into the material. And so you slow lower the base height. And what the base height adjusting tool is, it basically just takes the bottom of the model right there and just moves it down relative to the reference plane of the material, which is the top of the material. But you see right now the fish is still protruding out the top. And we don't have any further option to to allow us to move that down. It lets us go 0.375, but we can tell by the thickness of the fish, which is a 0.69, that basically half the fish is sticking out of the top. You can override this slider by putting a number in here and we are going to just put in a number of minus 0.75 so we are pushing the base height all the way down to the bottom of the material and now our fish has moved all the way down so the reason we're doing this is so when peggy goes to cut out her project her 3d model project is going to be cut all the way down the side to the bottom of the material so very easy little quick fix there. So that is a little tip just to remember you can override the numbers that are defaulted in these text boxes or for these slider bars. Click OK. And now we're going to run a toolpath for this. So we select that boundary that we had before. And you're going to see we're going to have a little bit of an issue when I do this. I've selected that boundary. I'm going to run the roughing toolpath, which is the roughing modeling toolpath. So it says 3D roughing toolpath. We're going to select that. We're going to pick our bit, which is going to be a, 
We'll use a quarter inch. We'll use an eighth inch end mill. We'll just go with that. What we're going to do is select the, we can select the material boundary. And that will work on cutting all that material away. But she just wants to cut the wood out. So we don't need to spend all our time cutting away all this 3D model and cutting out all that material too. So we just really want to cut to the uh, selected vectors. Or you can do the model boundary. One or the other. But we have the selected vector. We're going to go with that. We've selected it over here. And we'll just do a little trial run. Let's see how, see how it looks different. So this is a roughing. I'm going to select uh, large machines allowance selected. It, I don't care if we're going to roll with it. Not large machining allowances. There's just a lot of material it's taking out. So now if I run that, I have to reset that. We will run that. And you see we're just doing the fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset that just for now and we're going to go back into it and we're going to do the material boundaries so we did the selected boundary which was around the fish now let's just do the material boundary to see what the difference is when i select that this little blue line is now selected the boundaries of the material i'm going to say say calculate again it gives me the same warning i'm not going to worry about that right now and you see it didn't even uh, go out to that area it's still staying within the boundary of the fish so i'm not really sure what the point of that going out to the the material boundary is then we can go to the model boundary let's do that one we will recalculate again and it's pretty much going to do the same thing i think maybe we're getting all this doing the same thing because we're just working with one model Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the final toolpath. And then we're going to do what Peggy wants. So we're just going to stay with the model material boundary. We'll, we'll, we'll take the selected vectors because that's what I want right there. We've selected a vector. We're just simply going to calculate it after we make sure we have the right bit, which is an eighth inch ball nose. Calculate. And we are going to run it. Okay, so there's our little fishy, but he is still attached to the material. So what we want to do is get rid of that out that material. So what we're going to do is we are going to run a third toolpath. We are going to do a profile. We're going to select our profile tool. We are going to go through the material. So we'll just type in Z equals, and that will set up our material thickness, which is 0.75. We're going to select our bit. It'll be a quarter inch end mill, and we are going to do outside of the boundary. So it'll cut out the material around the outside of it. And we're simply going to calculate and then run it. Okay, so we have now done our fish, but take a look. We got a little issue. See the little lip on our fish? That goes all the way around. And that is because of the nature of some of the cutting that we were doing before. You can see this is the, the cusping that is done by the 8th inch ball nose end mill that was doing the carve before. And so what we want to do is get rid of that. It might take a little bit of work, but what we're going to do is we're going to offset that boundary. So I'm going to go out of that. We're going to split our screen. We're going to go into this, this vector here. And you can see there are points right there where it's not crossed over. So we want that vector to be in a little bit. We're going to select it. We're going to go back to our design area. Go to drawing. And we're going to do offset. And we're going to do an inside offset of perhaps a point one just to see where it goes select it and that was too far in so we're going to control z and we'll do it at a 0 0.05 offset and that might be more appropriate let's go with that so we're going to close that we're going to go back over to our toolpath we're going to go back into that profile toolpath and we're going to reselect that other boundary 
and not select that one, the one that was already selected. Select OK. We're going to run the project. And now our fish looks a whole lot better. Let's take a look at the jaw. I think we are OK. So the way, Peggy, to cut away your material is simply by doing a profile cut on that boundary and trimming it out that way. This is Garrett. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up and a comment would be awesome. And have a great day and better tomorrow. And I will talk to you next time.